a very warm welcome to all of you myself miss razia and i am your english teacher student in today's video i am going to do some grammar revision the topic which i had already explained you and send you the video today just before the exam i want to do the recap of the same topics so today i am going to explain you the topics which are there for the final exam the topics of grammar topics which are going to be there in the final exam that topics i am going to revise so here i will take some activity of the grammar sentences and with the help of that sentence i will explain you that topic so before that i request all the children to take out your english notebook and note down all those topic and all those examples which i will explain you in this video it is very important for you for the final exam so the topics of grammar are here here are, just have a look on your screen you can see the very first topic is pick out the infinitive children what is known as infinitive this is the first topic huh? what is the first topic pick out the infinitive so what is infinitive children infinitive is the word means infinitive is the word which is added with the verb verb means action word jo bhi action word ke sath jo to add hota hai infinitive means to word t o t the to word is added with the verb jo verb ke sath to word add hota hai that word is known as infinitive if you see the first example sushil reached the theater but was too late to catch the movie now here if you see there are two two t double o two and t o two so we don't have to see t double o two we just have to see the preposition t o two and with that what is there it should be verb so here which verb is there catch yes so to catch is your infinitive verb ke sath agar to add hai so that word is known as infinitive let's see the next example it was a big mistake on their part not to check the mail so here if you see where is two is there ha huh? with the two can you see the verb yes check is a verb is a action so two is added with the verb so that word is known as infinitive so to check is your infinitive let's see the third one this is too lonely for you to walk alone so here again i said you two should be added with the verb t o t not t w o t so here to to walk is your infinitive so in this way you have to pick out the infinitive and write in the exam is the first topic clear to you children our first topic was infinitive so infinitive means two is added with the verb verb ke sath kya add hota hai two so that word is known as infinitive you have to find from the sentences write it down put a slash and write infinitive now let's go move on to a second topic so our second topic is identify the adjective now what is the meaning of adjective children adjective means a quality of a person place thing it's a quality of that thing so let's see let's get more uh, clear by the example here if you see the first example the wafers were crisp light and delicious so now for which subject we are talking about hum kiske bare mein baat kar rahe hain wafer so now what is the quality of the wafer wafer ki quality kaisi hai it is crisp it is light it is delicious delicious means tasty so these are the three qualities of the wafer so that you have to pick out from the sentences and write it down now crisp light and delicious is your adjective ye aapka kya hai adjective hai correct now let's see the second one the fat goose sat on a green grass now here we are talking about which subject hum kiske bare mein baat kar rahe hain goose now how is the goose the goose is very fat what is the quality of the goose it is fat and on which it is sitting yes green grass so green is also a quality of that grass so if i tell you to pick out the adjective so here the adjective is fat and green correct ram is a brilliant boy so i'm talking about ram how is ram he is brilliant what is the quality of ram that is brilliant so brilliant is your adjective so adjective means a quality of any person place thing whatever is there so we have done with our two topics first is infinitive second one is adjective 
let's move on to the third one that is compound words what is the meaning of compound words compound words are those word which two independent word when come together can form one word do word ko agar hum alag karenge to bhi bhi wo word form ho sakta hai and if we bring the two independent word together to form one new word jisko hum naya word bana sakte hai now if you see the first one black board if you separate this two black is again a independent word and board is again an independent word but two independent word when we join together jab hum do independent word ko ek sath leke aate hain and make one word meaningful word that is known as compound words so there are the examples here given tiffin box if you separate this tiffin box these two are independent word now we can bring together and you can make one word also tiffin box toothpaste classroom dairy milk time table newspaper so all these words when we separate it it becomes different and when we uh, join it also it becomes one new words let's move on to our next topic that is kind of sentences children kinds of sentences are as are of four types assertive for assertive sentence we can called as declarative also assertive ko hum declarative bhi keh sakte hain second one is imperative third one is interrogative and fourth one is exclamatory so there are four kinds of sentences are there assertive means what children a very simple sentence ram and sham went to the market so it's a simple sentence it is known as assertive imperative means jahan pe hum order karte hai ya request karte sit down don't get up keep quiet all this is order will you give me a water may i go to the toilet this is a permission so here you can call as when you do an order or when you do a request that is known as imperative when you ask a question when you ask a question where do you live how old are you have you eaten your tiffin or if you ask a question and exclaim question mark is there at the end that sentence is known as interrogative sentence last but not the least is exclamatory exclamatory sentence means wherever you show a sudden expression or sudden feeling is there we, and at the end you will put a exclamatory mark that sentence is known as exclamatory sentence now here here are the examples given to you please sit near me for a while mere baju mein baitho so i am giving a order i am telling a request please sit near to me for a while i am requesting so request matlab imperative sentence correct don't move again here it's an order it's a imperative sentence ouch that was mine so here i'm showing an expression of doing that thing ouch so that is known as exclamatory sentences uh, let's move on to our next topic that is model auxiliary here in the if you had seen if you have seen the link of my previous video of model auxiliaries there are eight model auxiliaries are there in which must can could shall would may might all those words are model auxiliary and it shows function ye function bhi batate hai ke when you use may in the permission when you use can means ability when you use might it's a possibility if you see your previous notes uh, you just go through the notes of model auxiliary in deep you will understand which words comes in the model auxiliary here the first one is sarla must know about the truth of the matter so here which model auxiliary is there must must is is the model auxiliary so you have to pick out the model auxiliary and write it down i would have to visit the chemist to get the medicine so here the model auxiliary is what could that you have written down you ought to exercise daily so the model auxiliary here is could i request you for the model auxiliary you have to go through the notes which you have written in your notebook because there are uh, modern auxiliaries are there the words are there and that words is going to come in the sentence please go through the notes of modern auxiliary let's move on to our next topic that is subject and predicate i said you subject means where uh, there is a subject will come only subject jo kar raha hai wohi aayega and predicate means from where the action start jahan se action hota hai aur object hota hai the remaining is your predicate so if you see he won the race now who is the subject subject he hai to he aapka subject hai won won is your action is doing some equal won the race is your predicate see the second one a friend is a friend in need 
is a friend indeed so from where the helping verb or verb start from there the preposition start so here helping verb is where a friend in need is your subject is a friend indeed is your predicate grandmother grandmother is your subject narrated means says yahan se action chalu ho raha hai so jahan se verb start hota hai till that ending till the object that is your predicate so you have to write your subject dash and your predicate also in the same way our seventh topic is negative negative means children hame not use karna hai sentence mein kya use karna hai not but the meaning should not change sentence ka meaning change nahi hona chahiye here see the first one ritesh is always on time what is the meaning of the first sentence ritesh hamesha time pe aata hai so we have to use the negative of it always ka ne- opposite kya hota hai never so ritesh is never late agar wo kabhi late nahi hota means wo hamesha on time hota hai so this is known as negative here the see the second one he was unable to get up as he was ill unable wo bimar hai isliye wo uth nahi sakta so instead of that what you will write not you have to add he was not able to get up as he was ill wo uth nahi sakta tha kyunki wo bimar tha so here in the negative sentences you can write the opposite of it or you can add not aap wo adjective ka opposite kar sakte ho ya fir wahan pe not dal sakte ho i am doubtful whether he could arrive so doubtful ka opposite kya hota hai not sure so i am not sure whether he would arrive so doubt ka matlab hi i am not sure so this is the negative sentences already this notes also videos also i had send you in detail just go through the notes of negative sentences here the next topic is tense now tense you know children are of three types and again that three is divided into sub topic past present future so in the past also you will get, in the present you will get simple present tense simple uh, continuous tense simple perfect tense like that it is there just go through the video sunny often came to the hotel to pick up food so it's a came it's a simple past tense yahan pe simple past tense bataya gaya so i have written the answer simple past tense because Uh, in the sentences when there is tense is there jab you tense rahega you have to just see the verb verb is in the present or past verb kis mein hai now here what is the verb came came is the past so it is this sentence is a simple past tense yesterday i was slept too late so here which verb is used was was is a helping verb slept now if you see slept is again a past tense so this sentence is a simple past tense Rita said that she would be coming home during Holi. Now would be, would be हम लगाते हैं जब हम future के बात करते हैं will be, shall be, would be. This is all future. So now this is a future. Coming, coming is what verb, verb which is in continuous process, ing form में है जो अभी तक process complete नहीं हुआ है. She is going to come, coming. So that is future continuous tense. now in the video of the tense also you just go through it next topic is change the voice in detail the steps the rules i had given of change the voice to you children i request you to please go through that videos and notes of change the voice which is very important wherever there is a subject verb and object come that is an active voice wherever the object come first and wherever the by is used in the sentence that sentence is known as passive voice just go through the notes it would be very much clear for you see here see this amaze me so here this amaze me so here this is what this your subject amaze is your verb and me is your object so this is the active voice we have to change into passive so in the passive what we do जो ऑब्जेक्ट है उसको हम सब्जेक्ट के प्लेस में लाते हैं एंड जो सब्जेक्ट है उसको ऑब्जेक्ट के प्लेस में मी नाउ हियर मी विल चेंज इनटू आई आई हैड गिवन दैट रूल्स सो आई नाउ दिस इज अमेज इज अ प्रेजेंट टेंस सो आई एम अमेज्ड बाय दिस सो दिस वुड बी योर करेक्ट पैसिव वॉइस सेंटेंस कायरा वॉज यूजिंग द कंप्यूटर now who is using the computer and the computer is an object bring the object first the computer was is a past tense was using is the continuous tense was been used by kaira 
तो दिस इज योर चेंज द वॉइस चेंज इन फ्रॉम एक्टिव टू पैसिव शट द डो नाउ दिस इज अ सिंपल सेंटेंस विच ऑर्डर इज गिवन शट द डो लेट द डोर बी शट नाउ हु इज डूइंग दैट बाय यू और बाय सम पर्सन बाय एनी वन कैन यू कैन राइट इट डाउन सो दिस इज वॉट द चेंज द वॉइस फॉर चेंज द वॉइस जस्ट गो थ्रू द रूल्स विच आई हैड एक्सप्लेन यू इन द वीडियो एंड विच यू द नोट्स विच यू हैव रिटर्न इन योर नोटबुक now the last topic i think so it's the word chain now the word chain of adjective you have to make here which adjective is there first one is gorgeous now that gorgeous word you mean the, if i had given you the gorgeous word and i had said you to do the adjective chain now this gorgeous is end with what s ye kisse end hota hai s se so s se aapko waise words use karna hai jo adjective is smart so now you have written smart is again an adjective now this smart is end with t t again you have to start with the adjective only with the word t t se humne start kiya truth so truth is again a adjective e the truth is end with e e se hame new word start karna hai jo adjective hona chahiye easy and here the y is there so from the next word is youthful so same way the second and third also i have done bitter i will give you now the beta what is the last word of that r so from r you have to make an adjective rare energetic cruel so l will come lonely you can write lovely and illuminate any adjective words you can write over that wicked now this word first word i will give you the next word uh, you have to start with the ending one so in this way you have to make the word chain of adjective as well as the word chain of noun noun means name of person place thing so here chair chair is what a name uh, here the chair uh, is end with the word what r so from r you have to make a new word of noun you can write rose you can write rope you can write um you what you can write race like that you can make a noun form of it so this all the 10 grammar topics which is going to come in your final exam see children the very first topic is infinitive second one is adjective third is compound words fourth is kind of sentences fifth one is modal auxiliary sixth is subject and predicates make it negative then tense then here comes change the voice and word chain please i want you to write this all grammar activity which we have done today in this video it's very important according to your final exam point of view note it down in your english notebook and whatsapp me today itself before 6 pm in the previous video or in the last video i can say you uh, we have done i have given you the english portion also and uh, the paper pattern as well as i have taken a revision of the unseen passage which was very important so go through with that also the unseen passages which we have done in the previous video this grammar topics as well as the portion which i had given you for final exam just go through it children you have to do the appreciation also in your paper pattern appreciation is also there there are two poems are there i think so the b and uh, what what is the one more in the paper pattern is there so that two poem appreciation please do it children start your studies be at home stay safe and thank you for watching this video